Hello and welcome to Do It Live Photoshop. In today's tutorial, I will be showing you how to change the hair color of this girl in this photo. First, choose the quick selection tool. You can adjust the brush size and just quickly make a selection around the girl's hair by just going around here. It's alright if you select the skin. Go around with your quick selection tool over here. Make sure you cover almost every area of the hair, every possible area of the hair. Now we have over selected the skin, so just hold down your Alt key and just go ahead and minus out the selection. Like that. Just hold down the Alt key and just minus out the selection. Alright, once you've done that, release the Alt key and try to repair the selection by the edges of the hair all right around here so right now we have a nearly good selection of the hair okay but it's not perfect yet next we are going to refine the edges so in photoshop cc 2017 we have this option called select and mask over here so when you select your quick selection tool you should find this option over here go ahead and click this one on the right hand side inside the wheel mode we're going to change the wheel from onion skin to overlay so we get a clearer picture of what we are selecting and on the left hand side choose the second brush which is the refine edge brush tool so use this, we are going to refine the edges of our hair so you can increase the brush size by a little bit. Slowly and carefully just go around the edges of the hair little bit by little bit and Photoshop will, will do the trick for you by selecting every single strand of hair. So you don't have to worry too much but just be careful not to overdo it in case you get the skin as well. So slowly go around the edges of the hair, you can see all the edges are properly selected. So it creates a very smooth selection of the hair, you see like every strand of hair is not left undone. So once we are done with this, just go ahead and hit OK at the bottom right hand side corner. Now we have a really nice selection of the hair. In case we want to use this selection again, we are going to just go save our selection. So go to the menu, choose select and choose save selection. So here I'm going to just name it hair color and I'm going to just hit OK. I can see my channel, my hair color in the channels window. Back to my layers window, I'm going to create a new layer at the bottom right corner of the layer window. Okay, I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to call this layer hair color. Make sure it's an empty layer before you do anything. Next, I'm going to just change my colors, my foreground color to anything that is you know, bright enough around here. Let's say I choose red color, go ahead and hit OK. And then on my keyboard, I'm going to hit Alt Backspace. Alt Backspace will allow you to fill in the foreground color. Now on my hair color layer, I have the foreground color filled in. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and hit select and choose deselect. Then change the blend mode from normal. I'm going to change it to multiply so that it blends into my hair color. So now you get a really nice reddish hair color over here. This is how you do it. And if you want to change the hair color, you can go ahead and hit the adjustment layer button down here in the layer window, the layers window. And we're going to choose hue and saturation. And over here, there's this layer mask. It's quite annoying to me so I'm just gonna go right click and choose delete layer mask so that it does not disturb my image in my properties window at the bottom here I'm going to just create a clipping mask so that it only affects the layer below it which is the hair color layer and we're just gonna hit this button so you can see a small arrow over here from this point onwards to change the color you can just hit the hue like this you know, change it to a little bit purplish, pink color, magenta and then you can just hit the saturation to give it more color and take away the and give it more lightness to bleach out the color like this so this is one of the very simple method how you change the hair color of your image so that's it for today's tutorial I hope you learned something new and I'll see you in the next tutorial